Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here is the integral for you guys. We are going to integrate from negative infinity to positive infinity of e to the x with a minus sin square x. Yes, both of them are the exponent, all right? Wow, that's actually not so bad because I actually have a secret weapon for you guys and that's called the Gorgeous Glomage transformation. And of course, I'll write that down right here for you guys. I'll just put down C as T and it says, suppose we have a, b being positive numbers, then the integral going from 0 to infinity of f, some nice function f, and suppose the input is ax minus bx to a negative 1, not done yet. Put this, square that, right, and dx. This integral is actually nicely equal to 1 over a times the integral going from 0 to infinity of the same function f, but this time the input is just x squared right here, dx. As you can see, this is actually going to be a very nice transformation because it reduces a rather complicated integral to a much simpler one. And of course, I'll show you guys how to prove this right here real quick. So here we go. I'm going to start off by saying let i equal to the original integral. So we have the integral going from 0 to infinity of f of ax minus bx to negative 1. Square this and the dx right here. Now, what we are going to do next is we'll do a substitution, but I'm not going to let u equal to the entire inside yet. This is what we'll do. I'm going to let u equal to just the following, okay? I'm going to fix the coefficient gets what c because there's going to be a nice symmetry that will happen. I will let u equal to b over a x, b over a x, like this. Well, let me show you. Perhaps Let's isolate the x from here. Multiply x on both sides, uh, divide the u on both sides. So we, it's the same as saying x equals b over a u, like this. And then differentiate both sides. Of course, we get dx equals, and do the derivative. Don't forget, you see that we have the 1 over u here. The derivative of that is going to be negative 1 over u squared. But of course, we have the constant multiples a and b. So this is what we have. Now, take this integral to the u world, we will see that this is still going to give us i. And originally, the integral is from x equals 0 to x equals infinity. In the u world, okay, let's see, integral, u will go to where though? Start from where? Put 0 into here. And technically, this is I think 0 plus, because we're going from 0 to infinity, we'll take the limit as x approaching to 0 plus. You put 0 plus right here, and you see a and b are positive. So all in all, you get positive over 0 plus, pretty much. And you get infinity, and that's a passing version. Then you put infinity to here, you just get 0. So you will be going from infinity to 0 like this, for now. Then, let's see, let's do this in our head. We have f. And then, okay, here we have this. ax. As you can see, x is this thing. But a and a will cancel, right? So in another word, we just get b over u, and let me write it as b u to the negative 1, like this. Then we have the minus here, and here we have a similar situation. We have b times x to the negative 1, namely b over x. And if you look at b over x, we can just multiply the a on both sides, so we actually get a u, a u, like that. And then here we have the second power, don't forget about that. And then of course here the dx is just all that, so I'll just put down parentheses with negative b over a u squared inside, and here we have the du. And now we are going to fix this a little bit. Notice how we have this negative, and this is actually really good, because this will help us to change the order of the limit of integration. So check this out. Because of this negative, we can write this down as the integral going from 0 Right? 0 goes first, and then to infinity, like so. And again, thanks to that negative, we don't need to the negative anymore. And perhaps let me just put this down next. We have the b over a u squared, like this. And of course, we have all that, which is f of, and uh, inside here. Again, switch the word of, of the subtraction. Thanks to the square, it doesn't matter. So here we just have a u a u and then minus b u to the negative one and then we square that 
parentheses that, and in the end, we have that du like this. So this is very nice. Now check this out. This is i. This is also the same as the i. And notice how we are using u right here, but it actually doesn't matter. I'm going to do the following. I'm going to add this and that together, but I will change all the u's to x. So let me show you what I will do. So let's look at i plus i right here. OK, so for the first one, I'm just going to write down the original in black. So here we have the integral going from 0 to infinity of f of ax minus bx to a negative 1's power, and then square that, and we have the dx. Then we are going to add this version right here. So we add integral going from 0 to infinity, and here we have the b over ax squared, right? b over a x squared. Again, the u is just a dummy variable. We will be using x right here. And we'll finish the rest. So here we have to multiply f of a x minus b x to the negative 1. And then square that. And we are in the x world here. OK, so this right here, it's very nice. Because you see, both integrals are going from 0 to infinity. And both of them have this exact term. So we can just add them up, and you see this is just 1 and that. So of course, that will be the coefficient. So if we put them together, we will just have the integral going from 0 to infinity. And again, this is like saying 1 plus this. So I will just have 1 plus that, which is b over ax to the second power like this. And I'll put a parentheses. And we have to just multiply this by that. So multiply by f of ax minus bx to a negative 1 raised to the second power like that. Very cool, huh? And now, i plus i is of course 2i, but we can put on a 2 right here as 1 over 2. So that's what you have, OK? All right, so this is a much bigger integral than the original. What the heck? Well. Uh, it's OK, it's not so bad because we can do some substitution to make this much better. So let's do the following. I used u already, so let's use w, right? Or maybe you can use a c, c substitution, but you know, people will get mad at me, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to let w equals to this now. So check this out. We will have ax minus bx to the negative 1 like this. And of course, it will differentiate both sides. We get dw equals, this is going to give us a, bring this to the front minus 1, so we get plus bx to the negative 2 power, and this right here in parentheses, and we have the dx. Now, notice that this and that are almost the same. Almost. We can do the following to make it the same. Let me show you how. Well, I can factor out the a from here. So if we do that, you see that we will just have a parentheses with 1, and then we will have the plus, and this is the same as b over a, because we factor out this a, and here we have the x to the negative 2 power. We can put that down here. That's pretty much it. And as you can see, this factor is the same as that. However, we do need to have this a right here to help us out, right? It's OK, don't worry. I will just multiply this by a. But don't forget to divide this by a. And this is the jet because a and b are positive numbers. So we're not dividing 0 by whatever. So that's all we have. And now we'll take this to the w world. This and the dx is our dw, right? So as we can see, i is the same as a, 1 over 2a. And now check this out. We'll be integrating. OK, this right here is in terms of x. So x is 0, right? If you put 0 in here, and again, this is technically the saying 0 plus. You put 0 plus in here, a times 0 plus is just 0, bye bye. This is negative now, right, because negative b. And if you put 0 plus right here, you're saying 1 over 0 plus, which is the same as saying positive infinity. But multiplied by negative b, this actually goes from negative infinity right here. So this is w goes from negative infinity right here. And then, if we put infinity here and here, well, this will give us 0. But if we put infinity to here, positive times infinity, that will give us positive infinity right here. Right? So this right here is actually going from negative infinity to positive infinity. 
not so bad. Don't worry about it. All right, so that's pretty much it. And now check this out. This right here is precisely our W. So this right here, I will write it as F of W, right? This is W. But don't forget, we have to take this to the second power. So we have W squared like this. And then this, this, and that is just what? Nice the equal to dw. So that's what we have. Now, this right here, yes, it's an even function. Very, very nice. Because the input is w squared. And you see, here we have w goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. And of course, assuming f is a nice function, that means this will converge. Then in that case, this right here is just twice of the, you know, the integral from 0 to infinity instead. Therefore, you'll see this is the same as 1 over 2a. All in all, I will just multiply by 2, and then we integrate it from 0 to infinity instead. So this is, of course, OK under those assumptions. And nicely enough, the two cancel each other out. And as you can see, the original is the i. And now i is the same as that. And again, w is just another dummy variable. So w doesn't matter. Therefore, as you can see, I will just put this down for you guys. This right here is very, very cool. Okay, before we continue, I would like to thank our sponsor for today, Brilliant.Work. This right here is a math and science website that focuses on problem solving. And not only they offer free daily tranches for you guys, but also they have over 60 interactive courses for you guys to choose from, including geometry, differential equation, calculus, and probability, and a lot more. Each lesson is set up so that you have to take quizzes, so that you can really understand the concepts. And not only you may learn some new math that you haven't seen before, but also they will challenge you to think critically. Sign up is free so you can start to work on the daily challenges, but if you want more, you can use the link in the description, brilliant.work slash blackandrepent, because this way you can get a 20% off discount to the annual premium subscription, and you can get the access to all of their courses. Thank you guys so much for checking out brilliant.work. Right, here we go. This right here, integral going from negative infinity to positive infinity. As we all know, since it has its exponential definition, so I will just put this down as e to the x minus, well, I will have to enter the since right here. But we know this is the same as e to the x minus e to the negative x all over 2, like this, dx. Right? Then what we are going to do next is that we will take a u substitution. This u is a different u than that, okay? Take u to be e to the x, right? And now you see, we have e to the x minus that. Of course, this is the same as saying e to the x times e to this power, all right? Under this substitution, we know du is the same as e to the x dx. And we happen to have the e to the x right in the front to help us out. So it wasn't so bad. Anyway, this, whoops, this and that will be the du right here. And because we see that we have the integral going from negative infinity to positive infinity, put negative infinity to here, we will we'll get 0, e to the negative infinity is 0. So integrating from 0 and put infinity to here, that will give us infinity in the u world, OK? And this is just e, and we have negative parentheses, u, u, negative power, and then minus and then the 2. So this right here is u, and then this right here is minus uh, u to the negative 1. So I'll put this down like this. And then square. Don't worry, I know. I haven't divided by 2. So let me just put a 1 half like this. So here is the little 1 half. And I will also break down a little one half right here. Right? So that's what we have. All right, and then in the end here, of course, we have the du. So that's what we have. Now, notice this. It's actually the same situation as that. Check this out. We have the ax minus bx to a negative 1. In our case, we have the a being 1 half. In fact, the b doesn't matter, huh? But anyway, minus, and the b right here is 1 half, and we have the u to the negative 1 power. So this is actually the same situation as that. So what that means is, 
this will change to this, and we see that this is our A, and I just have to do the reciprocal. Namely, I will just have to do 1 over 1 half, so I'll put this down 1 over 1 over 2, right? And then I will just have to integrate, well, from 0 to infinity, that's good, 0 to infinity, and then the inside here is just going to be E, and then the negative, and all this right here is just you know, x squared, which is in our case. Let me just put an x squared to reduce the confusion. What? This is the same as u squared by cst, right? By cst. So this right here is just all that, and of course we have du, and of course this is a very, very famous integral. I even have a t-shirt on this integral right here, right? So all this right here is nicely equal to what? Pi over 2. <laughs> square root of pi over 2. But this right here is a 2. So this is 2, and this is just half of the square root of pi. Uh, so, so it's just uh, times the square root of pi over 2. And of course, in the end, the 2 cancel out. So finally, the answer is square root of pi. Very, very nice, right? Whew. So that's very, very cool, huh? And now, I'm going to leave a question for you guys. I will call this to be the heat check if you guys watch basketball, okay? Let's go ahead and integrate from 0 to infinity. Transformation.